In this video, we're gonna talk about the basics of rounding on a vertical number line. So our vertical number line is just like any other number line we have, except instead of being horizontal, it's kind of flipped up on its side and it's vertical. When we're rounding, the first thing we wanna do is write our number down. So let's say we're rounding the number 162 to the nearest 10. We can circle our number in the tens place, just kind of a reminder of what we're focusing on here. We then create our vertical number line. We label our two endpoints. Now the first endpoint we're going to figure out by figuring out how many tens are already in this number. Well, there's a six in the tens place, but we also have this hundred here. So we can say that this number has 16 tens in it. So on this side, I'm going to write 16 tens for the bottom of my number line. The next thing I want to do is identify what's one more 10 than the number that I have on the bottom of my number line. One more 10 would be 17 tens. Next, I have to find my midpoint, which is the number that is exactly in the middle. Well, we're writing in unit form. So in unit form, I can write that as 16 tens, five ones. Now what we need to do is plot where is 162 on our number line. Let's see, 16 tens. This is 16 tens, two ones. So 16 tens, two ones would be here. 16 tens, two ones. So now that I have this all plotted, I can finally figure out what 10 162 would round to. Is it gonna round to 16 tens or is it gonna round to 17 tens? Well, it is much closer to 16 tens than it is to 17 tens. So I'm gonna say that 162 rounds to 16 tens. So I can say 162 is about the same as 160. Let's try another example, and this time I want you to give it a try. So get ready to pause the video shortly. Let's look at a number like this, 87, okay? Go ahead and pause the video, and we're, let's say we're gonna round 87 to the nearest 10. Go ahead and pause the video and circle the number in the tens place. Did you circle the eight? That is the digit that is in the tens place. So how many tens are in this number? Eight tens. Let's go ahead and make our vertical number line. Go ahead and pause the video and try to label the two endpoints on your number line. Remember, the bottom is how many tens are in this number right now, and the top is just one more ten than that. Did you figure it out? We have eight tens, and we have, what's one more than eight tens? Nine tens. All right, now we have to find out the midpoint, the number that's in between these two tens. Go ahead and pause the video and write your midpoint. Did you figure it out? Eight tens, five ones, which would be what number in standard form? 85. Now that we have all this finally labeled, we can finally plot 87 on our number line. So let's see where 87 would be. Hmm, 85, I think it'd be right around here because I think this is 85, this is 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. So this would be 87 or if we're doing it in unit form, eight tens, seven ones. Now we can see what 10 8, 10, 7, ones is closer to. Is it closer to our 8, 10s, or is it closer to our 9, 10s? Well, it's only three spaces away from 9, 10s, but it's seven spaces away from 8, 10s. So it's closer to 9, 10s. 87 rounds to 90 when you round to the nearest 10.